Hell yeah, what's up guys? This is Cruise Pipe. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again, guys. Today I got some free tool stuff for you. That's right. I want to talk to you about a free tool called Uber Suggest. Guys, this is a free keyword suggestion tool that allows you to enter in a keyword or a key phrase for that matter, put it into the tool, and bang, it's going to spit back a whole bunch of suggestions on other topics that you might want to do a video about. Let me give you a kind of overview or an example. Let's say you just bought Fallout 4. Yeah, obviously a million people did it, but you bought Fallout 4 and you want to make videos about Fallout 4. Well, a lot of people will start out with a broad idea like, you know, Fallout 4 Let's Play Part 1. Fallout 4 Let's Play Part 2. You know what? Great and wonderful. That's fun. But you know what? Sometimes those don't get the views you want them to get because, to be blunt, you're competing with everybody else that's doing that. And if you're a smaller channel or a newer channel, you know, YouTube tends to play favorites. That's just how they roll. And I can't really blame them. It's just the way it is. So instead of that, you can use a keyword tool like Uber Suggest. And instead of starting out with broad ideas like that or broad Let's Plays or, or maybe even, you know, broad level guides or whatever, you can get real narrow, real focused, real quick. For example, you put in Fallout 4 and bang, it's going to spit out hundreds of ideas by alphabet. So, you know, it's, it's Fallout 4 A, and then it'll be like Fallout 4 Armor, Fallout 4 Alchemy, Fallout 4 A-Hole. I don't know, all of these different things. And you can then look at this list, say, hey, you know what? I know this, or I'm interested in this. And you can start making videos about that. I know if you guys paid 60, 70, 80 bucks for a AAA game, for example, probably want to make some videos you want to get some mileage out of it this tool is a tool that can help you with it now guys I am going to do a tutorial at the end of this little chit chat here to show you how the tool works and maybe give you some comments as to how I'm going to use it in my day-to-day -day, you know video tutorial world I'll give you an example with a game like Fallout 4 or Bloodborne or something like that there's a new DLC that launched and then I'll give you another example like a, a Shakespeare play like Macbeth and then I'll show you how it works for that too also guys, there will be a second component to this video tomorrow, and then I'm gonna show you how to use the Uber Suggest tool in conjunction with the keyword planning tool. Now these things, when they work together, you can actually see, you can get ideas through you know, Uber uh, Suggest, and then you can go into your keyword planning tool and then see how many people are searching for these topics, and you can see how many searches per month. Now it's not perfect, because, you know, some new games, they get, you know, they get all the searches all at once and then they slow down over time. And it, it, it's, it's not perfect, but I am going to show you how that works tomorrow. But for now, enjoy the Uber Suggest tutorial. If you want to try this tool out, it is free. The link is in the description below. And now let's do the tutorial. This is Big C checking out. Enjoy it. Be right back. All right. Welcome to the tutorial section of the video. Here's the tool, guys, ubersuggest.org up here. You type that in, you go to the website, and there's a search box, and here's where the magic happens. Now, what was I talking about? Fallout 4. Let's use that as an example. It's a pretty popular game. You might have heard about it. You hit the suggest button, and bang, it's going to give you a whole bunch of suggestions. Now, the first two aren't all that useful because they have, they're just very general. But once you get Fallout 4 plus A, what does that mean? It means you, they've, they've typed in Fallout 4 in the searches and then words that start with A. So Fallout 4 Armor, Fallout 4 Alpha, Fallout 4 Arg, whatever. You can actually see here that people are searching for these terms. And they're actually, for the more popular ones, they give you the number of views per month and cost per click, but we're not doing cost per click uh, advertising. That's not useful for you. But if you look at them, you know what? You could say, hey, I got Fallout 4 and I don't know what to do a video about. I did a whole bunch of Let's Plays, uh, but I wanna, you know, I wanna get some real mileage out of my Fallout 4 and I wanna record some videos. So yeah, let's see, you know, maybe you got some armor action going on. Click on that and now it's gonna allow you to drill in and take a real close look at the different options. Best armor in Fallout 4, best power armor in Fallout 4. Every single thing you see here is a real search term that are being typed into Google, into search engines, YouTube, Google, 
and to a lesser degree Yahoo, Bing, and all that stuff. But these are real searches that are happening. What does that mean? If, if from, from my perspective, as somebody that owns Fallout 4, for example, and I want to make videos about the game, I could start taking these terms, the ones that interest me, and I could start doing some research on them, or I could just start making videos about these topics. How many ideas are here? I've got like at least 10, maybe 20 good ideas uh, for videos just based on this list alone. Now, the next thing you could do is, let's say we want to look at Fallout 4, but best armor in Fallout 4. Let's copy that, Control C, go to YouTube, see what, it sh what the results come back with. Fallout 4, best armor, that's a week old, 284,000 views. That's a hell of a lot of views, but 2Dynamic is a pretty big YouTuber. I just hover over it, yeah, 407,000 subscribers. He's doing all right, or she's doing all right. But as you can see here, Fallout 4, all armor sets, Fallout 4, best armor, get the best armor in Fallout 4 without cheating. This one's a IGN, it's a week old. But guys, the point of this is that there are tons of ideas, and that's just for armor in letter A. You know what? Go through the list here. Maybe you'll see something that interests you. Let's go with Fallout 4 Best Weapons. Here we go. Drill into that. And then you could create like a, a weapons video where you, you show off all the best weapons that you picked out. Uh, best Weapons Fallout 4. There's probably a lot of people making videos about that. But let's take a look at... All right. Where are the best weapons in Fallout 4? Where to find the best weapons? Take that. Control C copy that into here let's see what the competition looks like for that fallout 4 rare weapon guide yeah all right fallout 4 rare weapons rare weapons rare weapons okay there doesn't look to be a video about where to find best weapons in fallout 4 that is an opportunity for you to create a video that says fallout 4 dash where to find best weapons in fallout 4 or where to yeah where to find the best weapons or something like that and make a video about it why would i suggest that video maybe even more than a let's play simple this is a very narrow search and people are searching for this we know they're searching for this yes people are searching for let's plays and broad terms like that but the competition for that is massive the competition for very narrow search terms isn't as anywhere near the same as the big stuff so just keep that in mind. In most business books, most business strategies generally suggest start narrow and then work your way out. So take something that's really, really specific and then as you get more popular, you get more authority, you get more trust, you get more expertise, you get all those other things that go along with that. Uh, you get more videos, more views, more subscribers, etc., etc. Then narrow, then broaden your field from um, from specific to broad. That's just general business practice. And uh, you could see here that there's an opportunity to make a, a video on that topic and go nuts on it. Now, maybe if you want to go a little further, we could type that into the keyword Google AdWords, or the keyword planner. We haven't talked about this yet, and I will talk about this tomorrow, but I'll give you a little bit of a, a jump start on it and hit click ideas. Where to find best weapons in Fallout 4? Now we're looking at average monthly searches. When I hover over it, you will notice it's got a really weird spike because, well, the game launched, obviously, so it only has one real good month of data. But let's click on this Fallout 4 here and drill in and see what we got. Fallout 4 Best Armor, for example, averages 12,100 searches per month in Google. That's an actual number, and because you can see here, 390, 390, 320, it's a very, very exact number. Creating a video about that, you can actually potentially get maybe 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 views per month because you will own that search term. That will be a keyword that you will have created the best video for. Just an idea, but it's, it's the real deal. And if you're not a gamer, I'll do a real quick piece here. You can actually make some other, you can make another thing, like let's go with a Shakespeare play. Because, you know, it's just a general thing. We're piping in Macbeth. Here we go. Macbeth. You type it in. You can look here. Macbeth Spark Notes. Macbeth 
movie, Macbeth 2015, there's a new movie coming out. But maybe you wanted, maybe you're doing, I don't know, maybe you're doing plot summaries or themes or uh, those types of things. Look here, Macbeth and the Witches, for example, 260 searches per month. Click on that. I'm going to go ahead and see what it suggests. And I while it, Banco and Macbeth, Reaction of the Witches. All of these things are potential videos, the Witches and Macbeth, that I could go ahead and make a video about. And I know that it will get results because people are searching for this stuff. So paste that in, Macbeth and the Witches. Let's see who's got stuff on it. Act 1, Scene 1 of Macbeth. Okay, that's kind of relevant. The witch's clip, kind of relevant, kind of relevant, not too relevant. Um, there's no summary here, though. So, you know, straight up, if I made a video that was, hey, guys, this is Curtis Pike, and I want to explain to you Macbeth and the witches, there's a really huge, awesome chance that I'm going to get searches and results every single day or every single month because I can get that search term. That's how search engine optimization works that's how keyword planning works it's very very simple but you know that's how it works guys so anyways i hope this little tutorial helped out i know it's not extremely exact yet but there's no real exact science to this there is a whole lot of um guesswork but you know this helps you come up with some ideas and uh yeah anyways leave a comment on this i hope you enjoyed it and i'll be back tomorrow with some uh keyword planner google keyword planner uh, tips and tutorials all right check it out